Dear students, this is Professor Heidi Hetner, and I'm so proud of you for all you've done this semester and throughout your whole career at Stony Brook. You're just amazing students, and I'm honored to be your professor and honored to have you in our department and our university. Remarkable, remarkable people. I know you've been through a lot. You're still going through a lot. You did it with courage and grace, and I'm just really honored to know you. I want to read two poems to you by Mary Oliver, one of my favorite poets. And I think she speaks to important aspects of what we might be pondering and contemplating as we all move forward into the world, but especially to you, to, your, to our graduates. So here goes. The first poem is called Wild Geese, again by Mary Oliver. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert, repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across landscapes, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese, high in the clean blue air, are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over announcing your place in the family of things. And the second poem I'll read by Mary Oliver is called The Summer Day. Who made the world? Who made the swan and the black bear? Who made the grasshopper? The grasshopper, I mean, the one who has flung herself out of the grass, the one who is eating sugar out of my hand, who is moving her jaws back and forth instead of up and down, who is gazing around with her enormous and complicated eyes. Now she lifts her pale forearms and thoroughly washes her face. Now she snaps her wings open and floats away. I don't know exactly what a prayer is. I do know how to pay attention, how to fall down in the grass, how to kneel in the grass, how to be idle and blessed, how to stroll through the fields, which is what I have been doing all day. Tell me, what else should I have done? Doesn't everything die at last and too soon? Tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild, and precious life. Thanks and go out into the world and do beautiful things.